Over the last few months, I keep getting asked the same question over and over. What's your favourite 12 year old whiskey, Alan? So, with your help today guys and a, a bunch of really nice whiskies and a beautiful whiskey in my glass, I'm going to try and figure it out today. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. So hello folks and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me Alan. Well it's a tough subject tonight, 12 year old whiskies. I sat down, I keep getting asked, I thought yeah I know exactly what my favourite 12 is but when I really got down to the nitty gritty I'm going to try and figure it out tonight with your help. So in my glass tonight I've got a really nice whiskey, got it covered up with my trusty Whiskey Friend coin you know what to do, I'll pop a link into the description. Yeah, 12 year old whiskies. It could be dead easy, couldn't it? What are they? I've, I've picked five that I'm going to share with you today. I couldn't pick, well I'm trying to figure out which one. I have reviewed all five, so it should be easy for you to go back and I'll pop some links above to those fives. So, let's crack with the first one then, right? Let's just dive straight into these. So the first one is... Glen Alecky, you all know I'm a Billy Walker fan, this is no exception, this is a beautiful 12 year old single malt, it is Speyside single malt scotch whiskey from the Valley of the Rocks, Billy Walker, 46%, non-chill filtered, natural colour. If you've not tried this, where have you been? It's, it's rich, it's aromatic, it's so fruity. As you dive into the palate of it, it's got raisins, it's figs, it's plums, it's juicy plums, toffeed, vanilla, honeyed, it's beautiful, it's got a really nice mouthfeel, lovely and spicy, uh, it gets spicy as it goes further down the bottle, it's got a beautifully long finish, it's chocolate, coffee, honey, on the spice, it's wonderful, wonderful frisky. This it comes in at thirty-five to forty-five pounds. Sometimes I've seen it a little bit on offer. Great news is I've seen pictures of the latest batch to come out, and it looks a little bit darker. It looks like there's a little bit more sherry in that one. So this is the first one on my list, guys, which is the Glen Alecky Twelve. Let's move on. So let's move on to the second one. Yes, it's Billy Walker again. You've guessed it. No, it's not going to be a Billy Walker night, but it is the beautiful Glendronach 12. This is an absolutely fantastic whiskey. This is a mix of PX and Oloroso casks, 43% ABV, which is a little bit lower than, than the Glenallachie. This is beautiful at 43. Yes, would I like to try it at 46? Absolutely. But at 43, it's very unusual because it's an unchilled filtered whiskey at 43%. And again, it's natural colour. Uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. It's it's beautifully velvety, smooth velvet texture on the mouthfeel. It's mouth watering. It's, it's sherry forward. This is heading into your, starting off with your sherry bombs. It's fruity. It's creamy. It's buttery. It's thick. It's got vanilla. It's so complex. When you get into the the development, it's spicy. It's spicy ginger. It's a juicy plum. It's dark fruit. It's red fruit. It's raisins. It's figs. It's so sweet. It, but the balance is absolutely incredible between that spice, the fruit, and the sweetness. I'd love this at a 46, but I'm very, very content with everything that Glenn Dronach are doing with this one at 43%. Absolutely fantastic whiskey, 35 to 40 pounds again. What can I say? So what's the next one on the list? Just before, let me have a sip of this. Getting so thirsty. Okay. The third one on the list. Where am I going? Let's head to Isla. Buna 12. Buna having 12, what can I say about this one? Big online retailer had it on offer at £30, absolute no-brainer. 
normally retails from 35 to 45 but I see this was an exceptional it must be a lockdown terms but 30 pounds it just you just could not resist it it's not a typical Isla whiskey I'll come on to that in a minute it's bourbon and sherry cask plums dates raisins dried figs it's all there as you get into it, it's a little bit jammy but comes a little bit of jammy dram marmalade maybe it's got a little bit of orange citrus i think that's where the marmalade comes from it's sticky it's got those juicy red fruits it then becomes as it develops it gets earthy it's grassy it's floral it's so such sweet again real sweet caramel sweet vanilla that's only on the nose guys as you get through to the as you get into the palate it's rich it's oily it's a beautiful mouthfeel Wow, it's just, what can I say about this whiskey? And then for the money, at 46.3% ABV, again, I'm not sure if I mentioned, natural colour, non-chill filtered, everything we love. Again, it's another complex whiskey for 30, 35 to £45. Pounds. This one didn't pick up much smoke. If anything, there's a tiny, tiny little hint of smoke. But, again, Buna Habin 12 another fantastic 12 year old whiskey the, the list just gets better and better and i think now you can see how difficult my choice has become to pick my favorite 12 year old whiskey moving on to the fourth bottle tonight on my list of 12s this is the cast strength 57.1 percent springbank 12 cast strength this was last year's batch it was this august september batch um I did review this one as well when it was a, a neck pour, but boy, look at that now. So, yeah, 57.1. It's the only cast strength 12-year-old that I'm going to be doing tonight on the list, but it deserves to be here. So, Springbank 12, this is 65% bourbon cast, 35, 35% sherry casks. It's, wow, what can I say about this one? It's It's sweet, it's fruity. It's got on the nose, it's got some nice cooking herbs, it's uh, it's got some marzipan, it's got some almonds, it's a little bit nutty, it's got toffee, vanilla, a little bit of pastry note coming for this one, maybe kind of with a fruit, maybe like a strudel, apple strudel, it's dirty, it's got that springbank funk element. A lot of you guys who know what the Springbank Funk is, there's different variations of it. I think this one is a little bit of rubber, a little bit of burnt rubber on this one. It's so complex and so much going on. It's dry and it's salty. The more sips you take, the saltier it gets and the drier it gets. Wow, wow. The, the only difficulty with this one is it's a tough bottle to get. I think the other ones, you can usually prick, pick them up pretty easily. This one you need to be sharp to get your hands onto this one and I was really really lucky to get this. So Springbank 12 cast strength 57.1% ABV. Okay moving on to the last one of the list by no means is it the last one. This is the Kill Karen 12 where am I let me stretch for it. It's up here somewhere. Yeah Kill Karen 12 guys what can I say about this bottle. Uh, that I've not already said. I have reviewed this a couple of times. It was the very first actual review that I ever done on YouTube. Uh, it was review number two. When you go back, check it out. I have re-reviewed it quite probably a couple of months ago. Uh, but yeah, this one, forty-six percent, twelve years old, natural colour, non-chill filtered, and yes, it's a kill Karen. I love kill Karen. But this one's no example. This is probably the bottle. If when people say an everyday sipper, what's your everyday sipper? This would for me be an everyday sipper. To be fair, the reason I'm having a tough time at the minute is I think all of these could be easy sippers or everyday sippers. Uh, but let, let's get into this one. This one is intense. It's it's powerful. It's 46%. It's fantastic. It's got that little bit of medicinal note. It's a little bit marine, it's got sweet vanilla, it's got sweet honey, sweet toffee, it's sweet everything. Fresh fruit, it's raisins, it's nutty, it's salty. 
Little bit of smoke, what a complex whiskey this one is. It's, it's a real, real oily mouthfeel. It's spicy, it's intense, it's oily, it's juicy, it's like a nice, beautiful, juicy plum. Some fresh apple, it's got dates, it's got raisin, it's got vanilla, toffee, honey, it's malty. Yes, I'm going to rhyme it, it's salty, it's got that beautiful marine note. There's just so much going on in this whiskey. This is another 35 to 45 pounds, guys. It's been a little bit scarce at the minute due to the lockdown, but great news on Kilcarran. They've just gone back in today, uh, Monday. They're back in there for the rest of the year on Kilcarran. Uh, I think there's the, the more of this is going to get obviously coming out. I think the 16 is due out sometime in October, which will become part of the core range. Looking forward to that one. Just picked up batch three of the heavily peated so i'm all over kill karen at the minute this guys if anyone is watching this video today and if they can take one thing from this video get yourself a kill karen 12. i've lost count of how many bottles of this i've had um uh, but all in all guys that is my five let's conclude on these five whiskies let me take another sip guys i need another whiskey before i get into this Five fantastic whiskies. Glenallachie 12, Glentronic 12, Boonahabin 12, Springbank Cast Strength 12, Kilkerran 12. These five whiskies, folks, should be on anybody's bar. Everybody's bar. If you don't have any of these, get yourself out and get a hold of one of these bottles. They're absolutely wonderful. The reason why, why was it such a difficult choice to pick my favourite 12? I'll tell you the reason why guys, I reviewed this, I gave it a 90, I reviewed this, I gave it a 90, I reviewed this, gave it a 90, reviewed this and I gave it an 89 on the neck pour and I said it could be a 90 or a 91, I'm past the neck pour and it's definitely it's a 90, 90 or 91 and I recently reviewed this one but I can't believe I never gave it a score but this is easily a 90, 91 for me as well so they're all scoring round about the same amount they're all very very similar on money i think the kill the springbank 12 is a little bit more expensive if you can it's a little bit harder to get a hold of but all the rest of them guys are easily available readily available and i'm looking forward to this new 12 because i think i'm a wee bit excited it's going to be a little bit darker so i'm thinking maybe a little bit more sherry in it so they're all wonderful so i'm passing over to you guys have you tried these? Do you have a favourite? What's your favourite? Just pop it into the comments down below, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. YouTube loves it. And if you've not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just hit that button down below and don't forget to click the bell to be kept up to date with future notifications. But yeah, it's so tough. It's such a, such a tough choice, guys. And any day of the week, it could be a different one of these. If I was to be pinned down to one of them, and I think if I was to narrow it out, I would probably just slip out the Glenallachie. I would probably just slip out the Springbank, just purely because of the difficulty of getting a hold of it. So I'm now down to three, three nineties. Wow, thirty pound a bottle. How can you beat that? I have picked this up at thirty five pound a bottle. And I've picked this up at £35 a bottle. So there's not a lot in the money. I think it might just come down to the different kind of mood. If I'm looking for something sherried, then I'd probably head towards the Glendronach. If I was looking for a wee bit more bourbon influence, I would probably head to the Kilcarran. If I'm looking for a kind of mix of both, I'd probably hit the, you know, if I fancy an Isla mood, but without hitting the peat, then I would probably obviously hit the... But if I was going to narrow it down, guys... I probably, it breaks my heart, but I would probably lose the Buna Habin 12. So I'm down to these two. These, these are probably the most bottles that I've ever bought between them. I think the, the Kilcarran's definitely, I've bought more Kilcarran than anything. But as you can see, I've got a rack of Glendron up just waiting. I've got another couple in the house. I've got a couple of, these are all Billy Walker ones. I've got a couple of Rachel Barry ones in the house, so... What do I do? 
if I'm going to be pushed, guys, down to picking one, and if I have to pick one, I'm going to go for the Kill Karen 12. That that would be if if I had to pick one that if I couldn't have any more, if I had one bottle to pick, one 12 year old off my shelf, this would be the one. Is there any 12 or to you guys? Is there any 12s that I've missed? Is there any 12 year olds that are, that are not on my list that maybe I should track down? Just let me know. I love engaging with you in the comments, guys. I try my best to answer everyone. So, that's it. That's my 12 videos. 12 year old whiskey video. I'm loving the 12. Kill Karen. That's the one that I've got in my glass tonight. Uh, just love this stuff, but on a different night it could easily be the Buna 12 on another night it could easily be the Glendronach most nights it is Glendronach uh, and then again I'm not going to sniff at the Glenallachie 12 but that's it guys last thing to remember just pop if you're after the coins I'll drop a little link into the comments down below and in the description just check out for the link if you want to get a hold of some coins um, but that's me, we're back on Patreon, I'll pop a link again to Patreon down below, if you fancy having a peek over guys and having a look, I'd love you to check it out, any support that comes from Patreon, just come straight back into buying this stuff behind me, but that's me, I'm Alan, I've thoroughly enjoyed looking at these 12 bottles, and I'm going to thoroughly enjoy finishing this Kill Karen 12 off, so until the next time guys, I'll see you soon, and the pleasure is in the sharing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.